Hello there, I'm the Rampant Mystic, and welcome back to Slay the Spire, and today it is Watcher Day. I believe it's Watcher Day. I'm pretty sure we did Defect last time. Yeah, it is Watcher Day. I just need to check the time. Uh, sorry, not the time, the date. Uh, Ascension, level 16, shops are more costly. Let us begin. Alright, let's see what- oh, nice. Random common relic, upgrades to defense, okay, I'm happy about that. Now give me two pressure points, three, four, actually three would be fine, four is maybe overkill. Now I do see triple rest with double elite, yeah, double elite in a relatively late shop. The problem is, I actually want to go this way for the two question marks and it has an early shop, which I don't want, or do I want it? I mean, there's a bigger likelihood of it having pressure points. Alright, let's actually check it. I won't buy anything unless I have to. In fact, I won't even, uh, you know, uh, remove a card. Just in case that the uh, planned shop actually has more interesting things. Now, I need at least two attacks. Oh, I'm sad. I am very sad. Yeah. It's because of that one extra block, or health, or whatever you want to call it. Alright, so I'm gonna hold up because we already have two upgraded defense. I'm hoping that I can pick up a pressure point, or not. So Judgment is actually not bad at all, the problem is I can't pick it up. Oh my! I'm gonna try for pressure point. Judgment is really good this early. Okay, you're buffing, so you're gonna be hit first. Oh, there it is. There's the buff, and there it goes. Perfect. Now I just need double attack again, or eruption attack, which is absolutely fine as well. Oh my, yeah. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna hold off for a little bit longer. I'm gonna lose the max HP here because it is is a little bit better, maybe. Alright, the problem is... We're going into a fight. I'll upgrade Vigilance here. Uh, this is why I want a Judgment. Um, oh, it's an entirely doable fight. Should I save the... no. I'll have way more upgrades until the next late fight, so I'll just use this now. Even though this is a very, very powerful potion, it is normally better saved for the boss fight. I really don't want to take too much damage here. Um, eruption is a thing. If I erupt, I can deal 24 damage this turn and 12 next turn, so that's 36, which is not enough to take down any one of them. So I guess I'm just going to double strike and defend. Eh, you know what? It's not going to be very useful later down the line, so... Uh, vigilance here definitely and let's defend and my strength grows of course so do the dazes in my deck which is not something we really want but i'm glad we have those upgraded defense okay up to three strength so that means that the next strike is just going to take down the back one good still not fully defended but you know what that actually saved me some hp so uh okay let's go for the front one again play vigilance here because it is a full defend and we are up to a lot of strength. Now, this is going to be 22 damage, plus 14, that is 36, which is more than enough to destroy that one. The problem is, uh, next turn. Uh, so I'm really hoping that I draw at least two attacks. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that actually saved me a lot of HP there. Prayer Wheel is good. Very good, because it means I'll get double cards, double card choice to be a bit more precise. The problem is, uh, we are we don't really have much uh, normal fights before the elite fight. Oh, mummified hand. I'm gonna keep upgrading defense because I am planning on doing this pressure point thing. Please have a pressure point. Please. You do not. Um, there is a medical kit. I do like a good medical kit. Helps you remove burns. Burns mostly. Just which is fine. We do have a hexaghost fight. This will help. You could say dazes as well, but the dazes get out of your hand anyway, so. Uh okay, so I should have been expecting this. Well actually I was expecting Log of Lynn because it might be a slightly worse fight for me. 
Uh, is it with the amount of defense I have? Probably not. It's probably not. Alright, as soon as I... Okay. Can I draw two attacks? Please draw two attacks. Uh, okay, you know what? This is fine, actually. I hate myself. I could actually get out of this mode. But next turn, I'm going to have 24 damage, which is still not enough. Okay, let's get out of this mode. Oh, boy. Ah, I do not like this. Alright, this means I'm safe for now. I think I might have just killed myself. Uh, or not. Believe it or not, I survive. Uh, White Bee Statue is great, and I do get a Colas Potion. Oh, boy, yeah, the game is not going to give me a pressure point. Which is kind of sad, because <laughs> uh, we have upgraded all of our defense, and that is very- ooh, nice. Uh, what can I do here? What did I- why did I do that? Why? why? Oh, yes. That is actually great, because that's extra gold as well. Speed potion, empty first. Mmm. I should pick up Master Reality, right? I mean, it's gonna be free to play because of Mummified Hand. And if I get Battle Him, it is entirely feasible. And Battle Him is a little bit more common than Master Reality. But I'm gonna pick up Master Reality here, and I should probably pick up the Empty Fist. Right? Yeah, I should pick up the Empty Fist, because at this point we're heading into the uh, boss fight territory, and I really want to have a couple of cards that are not just my standard deck. Alright, this is going to be uh, plain and simple uh, this way. This is exactly 20 damage, so we're fine. The good thing I can sometimes do math. Uh, oh, problem is I can't take care of this one. And I'm going to be weakened next turn. Okay, I can take care of it. But, yeah, it'll cost me. And I'm gonna need two attacks next turn. I actually do have them, okay. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm gonna need more than two because I'm gonna be weakened. Alright, well, one of you has to go away. You're doing the most damage, so I guess it's you. And evaluate. And a strike. Good. Actually, I'm surprised I didn't take any damage. Yet. Alright, 6 HP. Regen potion. You know what? We are actually going to be upgrading here. Oh, of course I knew that this was going to happen. Well, I mean, Master Reality, I can keep it in the deck because of Mummified Hand. It's still gonna slow me down by one card, but it should be fine. Uh, I really don't want an Eruption here, so this is the way we're gonna play. At least I got to upgrade the Pressure Point, you know, there is, there is that. Uh, do I do this here? There's really no point. I mean, yeah, it's 9 damage, but... I actually don't want to exit Vigilance yet. Ah, uh, there's a pressure point. This will make something for anyway, that doesn't, doesn't really matter. I just realized I have not a single defense here. Okay. Okay, I do at least here have a defend. I should have used the Empty Fist. You know, I should have used it a lot earlier. Okay, let's actually start removing burns because Medical Kit is amazing. I love it against fights that add wounds and, uh, and, uh, hmm, okay, this is, this is definitely a go. I believe I just reshuffled my deck as well, which means that I might get Vigilance next turn. Please give me Vigilance, please, thank you. Actually, Empty Fist is fine as well. I am actually willing to do this way. Uh, yes, it's not as much damage, but it's fancier. That's, that's why. There's no other real reason for it. Uh, okay. Oh, right, Insight will constantly be upgraded. I forgot about that. Now, I can't Eruption Empty Fist. No, no, I can't. No, I can't. Don't lie, you can't. Hmm. Now, the good news is because of Medical Kit, this turn, as so long as I can defend against it, we're absolutely fine. Oh, yep. This is the way I gotta do it. Because I'll just end up removing the burns. They won't do any damage. They won't, like, gather into my deck and make my life miserable. 
Oh, perfect. Uh, and you know what? I'm gonna fully defend here. Don't take any unnecessary damage. I'm on 7 HP, so. Yeah, you see that? Perfect. And the next time I get pressure point, enemy should be either dead or almost there. Uh, I can't empty fist here, but you know what? I will, because that actually puts the enemy in lethal range. Come on, 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 come on. Nope. Uh, come on, there it is. Medical kit for the win. Uh, wish scrawl in diva form. So scrawl is something you do want. I can't take food. I can take a runic dome, maybe. The extra energy is so much helpful, so helpful. But the problem is, uh, I actually don't have the enemies have more challenging move sets and abilities. I could take it. Lower max HP and favorable events. Shops are more. Yeah, that was 17 and 18, isn't it? Yeah, 17 is uh, normal enemies have more challenging move sets, and 18 is, I believe, elites. So, uh, yeah, we'll pick up Runigdom. Sorry if I spoiled anything, but, uh, I mean, the our defect runs are on Ascension 18, so, yeah. I, I do see a triple rest. Quadruple rest with double lead or a single lead, depending on how I choose to play this. As well, have several shops along the way, which I do want. Again, I need at least two pressure points and several card removals at this point. So, yeah, oh boy. Uh, now this is a fight that I don't like because this is a fight that can't predict. So I'm just going to scroll here. Yes, I'm going to use this. Empty Fist is obviously usable here. Didn't really need to use it on that one. Again, this is a fight I can't predict. For all I know, all three of them could be attacking for six, or, or all three of them could be buffing. Even though I'm pretty sure only two can uh, do the same thing at once. So these two buffed, this means they're in all likelihood going to attack. And I'm actually going to go in the middle one. Uh, they will attack for a lot of damage, though. Oh, the third one decided to attack as well. Okay. Um, kind of sad. Kind of sad. Alright, so back one is not there yet. I want to defend. I just want to keep defending for as long as possible. I don't know who to use the weakness potion on at the moment. Okay, one chose to uh, defend, so that's kind of nice for me. Keep using the insights. The insights are very valuable to me. I want you to, you know, be in lethal range next time I play pressure point. So, definitely... Using the empty fist there. 35 block is not enough if they decide to all do, yeah, the big hits. Okay, two of them decided to buff. This means that both of them are actually gone. Now, the big hit should be 16, 17 damage here at this point. Uh, and he continues buffing, so. Uh, I can actually take it down here. Like, to the ground, so it, it's not going to be a threat. Duplication potion. Over the weakness? No. Over the speed? Yes. Because I wouldn't know when to use the speed potion <laughs> uh, most of the time. I do know most of the movesets, but some of them are random. For example, this one. This one always does the exact same things. Always. Starts all by blocking. Starts all by attacking for 10 and debuffing you. Then does 22. Then does 10. Then, and so on and so forth. Uh, generally, we don't want to actually reach that round. Uh, the problem is... So... Uh, how can I play this here? Alright, well, let's face it. I'm gonna use that anyway. Let's use Evaluate for... Hopefully getting some attacks. So, currently, the enemy is doing 10. Or 11 in this case. I believe it's 11. So, I shall double defend. I shall scrawl. Ooh. I could double pressure point here. The problem is... Uh, that I don't have a second pressure point, at least a second one, let alone a third one. We're not even going to discuss a third one. I will do it. Okay. And I'm going to be frail now. So 22 damage. I can probably muster up a lot of block. Yep, 22, there it is. So I'm actually fully defended this turn. Uh, okay, let's see what we get. Ooh, okay, let's use Master Reality. Uh, you know what? I'm going to use Vigilance anyway. Might as well at least get some damage in, I guess. Alright, good. There's the 11. There's Now is the 22 again. Uh, so what I actually want to do is I can't get 22 block this turn, but what I can do is I can throw away the Weakness Potion. That should offset a little bit of the damage. Not all of it, but a little bit of it. 
Uh, okay. Let's inside again with the small hit here. So we are absolutely fine with just using two defense and we'll be, you know, good. I can eruption empty fist here and I probably should actually strike empty fist to be a bit more precise. Just trying to deal as much damage as possible. And there's one of the pressure points that I need. Uh, this is the big hit, which is kind of the issue. Because this is the only block I could muster up, which means I'm going to take, yeah, a decent amount of damage. I really need two of these, a minimum of two of these. Sorry, that, that didn't mean to do that. Oh, at this point, I think I need AoE. Oh, I haven't picked up a second pressure point. I think I could use some AoE. I have insight, so I have some draw. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, this thing kind of starts randomly. I don't know what it's going to do. <laughs> the only uh, defensive option I have is a single defense. Great. Let's see, what is it? It's attacking? Okay. So, it can do one of two things now. It can either attack or it can either debuff. And it is going to be a little bit random. Okay, I don't want to actually uh, play these... I will defend here and uh, hope for the best. If it debuffs, which it did, it means it's going to attack this turn. Come on, where's that pressure point? Uh, nowhere, apparently. Want to play Vigilance? Want to play Empty Fist because that is basically 9 free block at this point. Because I am frail. Now it is 28, I believe, damage. Ah, uh, no, never mind. Never mind. No. Hmm, 24. I guess I must have been mistaken. Alright, I think I can take care of it here. Five extra strength, those will be... Not enough. Absolutely not enough. The problem is, I can't actually defend myself here. Uh, so, if it does 24 damage, I'm gone. Because this is only 6. So, I'm hoping it's either not attacking. Or... I can take it down, good. I did want to do the math, I'll be absolutely honest. Uh, I do want to protect. Come on. Oh, nice. Uh, so I actually don't want Eruption anymore, or any or a lot of strikes, so... First Eruption needs to go. Come on, I have a pressure point. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Mercury's Hourglass would have been amazing, by the way. As well, it is so powerful. Now I need to remove cards, and I actually have enough gold to remove one more card, but I have to rest here because I'm on very low HP. Uh, but that's fine. That is absolutely fine. Uh, so no pressure point, but card removal. Let's remove the strike. Again, we're just thinning down the deck a little bit. We already have two pressure points. That's, this is going to be an upgrade for sure. I do need to upgrade Scrawl as well, but with the extra energy, it doesn't really take too big of a priority. I can actually skip both elites if I really want to. And maybe I should. Bottle Tornado. Sure, I'll pick it up. This means I can't remove it, but that's fine. Again, uh, Mummified Hand. It's, it wasn't going to be a priority anyway to remove. If I skip both of the elites, this means that I'm definitely upgrading here and here and not here. Uh, now, if I upgrade this, it becomes zero cost. That's meaning that it is actually going to be a plus one energy on the first turn. But I think I prefer upgrading Scrawl. Yeah, I'm going to upgrade Scrawl here. Ah, Sneko, he's very random, so... I mean, that's the whole point of Sneko. Doesn't never open up with a huge hit, though, because, you know, he, ha he has to does this. He has to, oh, he has to does this. He has to do that. Uh, afterwards, I believe it's just 7 or 11 or whatever it was. It's not a big hit, is what I'm trying to say. I'm definitely using both of them here, even if I have to use the Miracle, because they are very important. So this is going to be a small hit. Okay, that was not the smallest hit it could do. That's all I'm going to say. I want to keep protecting my hand until I get vulnerable. That is the smallest hit, which is the vulnerability. Oh, come on! This is a joke. Are you kidding me? One HP! One! I just noticed it has one, two, three HP. Huh. Oh, I can't believe my luck. Oh, third pressure point, definitely. Uh, that is going to be the next upgrade. Yeah, that is going to be the next upgrade. Oh, no, that is not going to be the next upgrade. Uh, 
Do I use the power potion? I mean... So none of them attack on the first turn. <laughs> that's, that's not useful. Like, both of these don't attack on the first turn. Uh, hmm. Problem is they attack on the second one. And they're gonna do a lot of damage. I I I actually should have placed one. No 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 no. That's a bad idea. Uh, like water or battle him. Uh, I'm gonna go with like water because I'm gonna need it. Oh, and it's pre-upgraded because of um master reality. Wow, nice. So I need over 20 blocks. So this means I actually have to use this, and I will use the miracle because sooner or later I'm gonna have a lot of daisies in my deck, which there really isn't much I can do about. Okay, let me actually use this. There is double pressure point here. Triple pressure point here. To that, uh, no, I can't actually draw another pressure point. Okay, I guess I'll just single defend here. And I'm not in vigilance. Oh boy, I just I just realized I'm not in vigilance. <laughs> not in calm stance. <laughs> oh, I was like, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm in calm stance. No, no, you're not. No, you're not. Uh, random common rollock, yes. Ooh, blood vial, nice. Alright, can we get good... No, we can't. Oh, Aww. I do see double rest with one elite. I as well see double rest with triple elite, I believe? Yeah, if I want to. That's not gonna happen, so. Uh, so there is a double rest with... Two elites if I want to. Basically, I can decide here. The other option is a super early, but I don't think I want that. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stick to this area over here, like to the right side. Seems like a half decent path. I pass and hope for a bunch of strikes because I'm probably gonna get them. Uh, okay, you're gone. Too bad I'm weakened. This would have been a lot more damage. Now I am frail, but I'm no longer weakened. And I got all my attacks there. Uh, I'm hoping for pressure points again. That's why. Oh, upgrade a card. Nice. I'll upgrade Vigilance here, even though it's probably better to upgrade a normal defend. There is a like water. I actually want to pick it up. I believe. Yeah, we don't have another guaranteed shop, so this is the guaranteed shop. And I do like like water a lot. So this means I'm definitely going to be playing a little bit more defensive. Which, generally, with the Watcher, I don't like unless I'm doing pressure points. Like, I'll be honest. Yeah. Unless I'm doing pressure points, I, I don't like being very defensive with the Watcher or the Ironclad. Unless, of course, Body Slam is a thing, which Body Slam is a thing. Uh, Eruption Strike here is... Might have been the right call because this enemy tends to scale kind of quickly. Single defend is not going to do much, but it'll have to suffice. And okay, good. I could pick up a windmill strike, be very defensive and just wait for windmill strike. I mean, worst case scenario, it'll just stay in my hand, right? Or because I'm not really going to remove it. It's not a priority removal over a strike, for example. Now, the good news is the Louse is in lethal range. The Louse that is attacking, I should say. And this one is going to be gone next turn because Windmill Strike is a thing. Hmm. Oh my, we got it. We got one. Uh, was this, no, that's not the elite actually I was supposed to go for. So Windmill Strike can be played with, even with this build, it's just, I prefer a very thin deck with it. And again, personal preference. So I actually want to go for this lead because there's an extra question mark here, I don't want to go for this one. I definitely want to go for the question mark because question marks are cool. Uh, that is not a full defense. Okay. Pass. And I can always just Eruption Windmill Strike. Uh, it is a thing. Oh, that thing's gonna weaken me, though. Ugh. Splitting my damage here because I'm gonna split the pressure points in a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna split my damage a little bit more. 
And this thing will be a lethal wit eruption on one of them, not on both of them. Alright, next time I get pressure point, this one's gone, and this one is going to absolutely be gone as well. Okay, can I get a second one early, please? Yes, I'm going for this late. It is Log of Lin, so we're going to be opening up with a pressure point, preferably on the same turn we get Windmill Strike and... Uh, like water, which I didn't get. Alright. Here, the best scenario is getting Windmill Strike and like water, uh, and Vigilance on the first turn. Then getting Pressure Point on the third turn, because that actually allows your Windmill Strike to be a little bit better. Uh, so I don't really care much about Strikes here. Uh, I will care about Windmill Strike in a little bit, but not quite now. Now it is 20 damage, now I want to care about it. And I still want to play Vigilance, but I can't, so... Oh no, wait a minute! Actually, we're fine. The reason I said we're fine is because I drew four strikes. <laughs> oh, that would have been so bad otherwise. Uh, Volt is something you can definitely play. It's basically just play one... Uh, currently, with my energy, you know, because I have three. Play one card, play Vault, play an extra three cards. Or basically just, you know, shuffle your, just remove the hand you currently have and get to next turn. Uh, so yes, it is definitely useful. Blue Candle is amazing. Mm, I do love to see it. Even though I'm not planning on getting any curse, I can actually go for an extra lead. I think, do I have anything that is very important to upgrade? Well, I guess both of these, actually these three are really important. But I can do without them. Uh, now this is sort of an issue because I'll take damage here and I didn't want to. Uh, Blood Vile is doing an amazing job actually keeping me top top, so... I have two pressure points, right? No, I don't! Mm. Why did I think I do? I'm using Vigilance there just to get the effect of like water. Now I can't actually get rid of you. Because, yeah, I can. So I'm going to... And next turn, this one goes away because of Windmill Strike. Fear Potion. That is actually going to be very helpful depending on the Elite fight. If it is the Gremlin Knob, it is going to be very helpful. If it is not, it is not going to be. Okay, this is probably the worst fight out of the two I could have gotten. Uh, for several reasons, of course. Hmm... Go play like water here, that's for sure. I can actually vault, but I don't want to because I need to play the pressure point. And... Uh, hmm. Mm-hmm. Gonna go for the front one. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Alright, there's the windmill strike at least. Uh, it is just gonna stay here until it gets to 20-ish damage and we'll be fine afterwards. Need to block only one, so actually let's target down the front one with all of our attacks. Should've used the Miracle Potion, but it might have a better use slightly later down the line, so... Uh, so it is 11 damage. Okay. Yeah, this is the problem when you don't have AoE and you get this fight. Oh, I'm I'm losing a lot of HP for essentially a relic. Um, hmm, I think I'm just gonna use Vault at this point, to be honest. Just get rid of some dazes. I don't need to use anything, you know. What? I'm just gonna Vault. Uh, this actually ticks up Windmill Strike. This means this one is gone next turn, so that's actually kind of nice. Uh, that's actually enough block, so I'll start focusing down the middle one. Oh, no, I'll. I'll double defend, why not? Yeah, we're, yeah I, I sort of knew this could happen. No, I sort of knew it would happen. Uh, so this one's gone. Problem is, nothing else is. I'll actually use the Miracle here to get rid of another, well, do some damage to another sentry. Alright, fully defended. Let's keep going for the middle one with attacks. Splitting my damage here because Pressure Point does a lot of damage by itself, mostly. And yeah, that's it. Oh, pass. Okay, let's see what I get. Oh, yes. 
Perfect. Now I just need one more attack, and I'm gonna get it. Bird face turn is... Oh, it's, it's good. I like bird face turn. Uh, colorless potion over fear potion. Oh, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I'll, I'll do it. So I'm actually not gonna go for the third elite, that's for sure. So I want to upgrade Vault first. So at least I can play something and then play Vault. Hmm. Hmm. This fight is interesting. I could Vault here. Actually, I'm going to Vault here. I don't want to play Evaluate. Cultist has to be taken first. Uh, let's actually see what this gives me. I have actually always wondered, so I wouldn't normally pick up Enlightenment here, but I've always wondered, is it going to persist in a card that has Retain on it? So it's currently one cost. But is the effect going to persist? No, it is not. Okay, so it is just, I know that it's for this turn, but normally, you know, you play the card that's going to be lower the cost. Gonna have a, that's going to have a lower cost, sorry. I guess I do play one power, so that's an extra two HP. Uh, eventually, you might play two, depending on hmm, what I get. But it is doubtful. I don't like my situation here at all. Because this means I'm going to take the small amount of HP that I already healed back up. Splitting the damage here. Oh no, that's seven. Um, hmm, don't like this. Uh, that's actually fine, isn't it? The problem is he's going to weaken me. Yeah. Woodmill Strike could have actually taken care of the cultist by now, but that's fine, I guess. Okay, no, no, no. Come on, one more pressure point. Come on, I know you want to. Yeah? So this is uh, normally why I pick up Vault. You play a pressure point, or if you have extra energy and more pressure points, you play two pressure points, you play Vault, then you might get to even play a third one. Uh, and that is why I really, really enjoy it. Uh, it's really good in almost anything. Because again, you just get to play a free card, right? Or oh, and of course you get to reshuffle your hand, which sometimes is val sometimes is valuable. Uh, going to play vigilance here, and a strike, and this is actually almost within lethal range. It is actually within lethal range. Sorry, I'm um, weakened. Um, okay, have it your way. Still going to be weakened, but that's absolutely fine. Because we have a pressure point. Uh, I do not like this. <laughs> Give me pressure points. So I think upgrading like water here is more important than actually getting a little bit of HP. Specifically for this fight. Because I can actually double play like water and that is exactly... Oh no, that is not a duplication push. Oh, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> that's fine. Uh, but yes, I was planning on double playing like water. Uh, that was not actually... In a huge part of the plan, but it was a part of the plan. So I'm gonna get Vigilance next turn. Well, probably next turn. Uh, hmm. Actually, you know what? I hope this works. Oh, it played Vigilance, so... I guess I'm sort of fine with that. Yes, could have played Miracle there, Defend. Chose not to use it. I don't think I want to vault here specifically. I'll save it up for now. It will have a better use. That is why I want to save it. One defense here should be more than enough. Of course, always play the insights. I'll play the evaluate as well because I want the insight. Uh, insight helps me get to my pressure point a lot quicker. Speaking of which, there it is. Uh, this is actually a full defense. Not gonna play insight here. Gonna play it next turn. Insight? Into absolutely nothing, is it? Hmm. Can't play Strike Vault? This thing is gonna do 46 damage with Eruption, so it is enough to transform. I can't actually block for 20, I don't need to use Vault here. So I will. Again, saving it for a better opportunity. Because it will have it. Because I couldn't deal like too much damage there anyway. Hmm. Alright. Alright. 
go. There's a windmill strike. So this is actually a transformation, just a clean one. Problem is I can't play Eruption Windmill Strike Vigilance. That is way too much energy. That is still a lot of damage there. I think I'm gonna retain it until the transformation turn. Alright, let's incite into a bunch of block cards. This thing is at 3940 almost. Okay, that's perfect. Inside for a couple of defense. You know what? That's absolutely fine because that fully defends me. And this is 43 damage. Almost! Almost! Look at that. 12. Just, just straight up 12. There is the transformation. And we are one pressure point away. And speaking of which... Alright. Oh, there's an Alpha and there's a DSX Machina. Okay, so... I can skew myself towards Alpha. Alpha is very powerful. The problem is I have 16 cards, so this is a lot of card removals. But Alpha is a... Uh, it's a skill skilled in power, so it's not actually going to affect Bird Face Turn that much. I would need to remove all the strikes and the eruption, and that would work flawlessly. This means picking up no extra cards. This means essentially not playing Pressure Point most of the time. Not even playing like Water. A Vault does help if you get Vault on the first turn because you can Alpha Vault and hope to get Beta. Or if you have extra energy, of course, you can Beta Vault. But Oh, this is a very tough call because this is, not, this is something you want to build a deck around, not something you just add to your deck. Because it is hard to play. It, it takes you three turns to play it in most cases. Uh, as it requires a lot of energy and requires you to draw the cards. Uh, and if you have a thicker deck, which is currently what I do have. Uh, yes, I do call that a thicker deck. Um, it is a little bit harder to play. Okay, what do I do? I could pick up Deus Ex Machina. Normally that's really good if you don't have extra energy. Uh, and it will help you play certain cards. Especially if you have like three pressure points in a 15 card deck, which is sort of fine, but you can draw them in the same turn, which is something you don't really want. Oh, this is a tough call. Uh, Alpha has won me so many games. Well, not so many, but it has won me games. Actually, very tough games. Oh boy. It's it's basically not do I pick up Deus Ex Machina or Alpha, it's basically do I pick Alpha. Because if if that's a no, I'm picking Deus Ex Machina. But this is the bigger priority. Do I pick it up? Hmm. No, I don't think so. I don't think I'm going to get enough card removals. I'm going to need a five. Six card removals, sorry. Six, so that we are at 11 card. No, actually, I'm going to need five. No, seven, seven, seven card removals. Seven card removals. But let's say these five at least. Seven card removals because you're going to add one, you're going to be uh, at ten. Actually, no, you want to be at nine cards. Oh my god, this is such a tough call. Okay, I am going to go with Deus Ex Muck and I'm going to hope for pressure points. And there's the extra energy for at least boss and elite fights. And I really need a second pressure point. A minimum of two. Okay, I do see quadruple rest, one elite, one late shop, no early shops. Okay, so good thing I didn't take alpha because I don't have uh, much card removal here. Oh boy. Um, I'm gonna just straight up use the Sani. Yes, I will, because I'm basically taking the same amount of damage, except that I could have used vigilance, but I chose not to. Uh, I do not want to be in this turn, so. I should have used the... oh well. Are you kidding me? Is this a joke? I think I just died. No, like, no joke. I think I just died. I can't believe that happened. Actually, I should have just gone with the strikes. It would have been absolutely fine. Um, <laughs> well, unless I draw... I will, I will be drawing Eruption next turn. Because this is going to deal a lot of damage. I can't believe I just did that. I should have known better, but I was like, mm, I'm going to hope for the best. No, no, do not hope for the best. Uh, upgrade all strike. This is a card removal, but I really want my defense upgraded, so... <laughs> and I just lost so much HP. Uh, 
Now I do have blue candle, this does not mean that I'm gonna take this. If it was a 50-50 I'd do it, but white beast statue is amazing. If I had known that I was gonna get a white beast statue, I might have actually chosen sacred bark over slave's collar. Uh, that is actually a totally legit- okay, um, totally legitimate thing you can do. Because it makes your potions twice as powerful, and that is very powerful, actually, for a potion. Uh, eruption? No, there's no point. I actually don't have enough attacks to sustain eruption. That's why eruption is, should be the next thing to go. Alright, hit that bird. Uh, I could actually... I'm actually fine here. I'm not gonna use Vault yet. Believe it or not, we're actually good. There's like water. I'm not actually in Vigilance. I will be. Not today, though. Uh, the reason I... this is why I don't like Deus Ex Machina is because you have to draw it. It takes away your card. Uh, hmm. That's one of one and a half of you covered, actually, I should say. That's two of you covered, more or less. Okay, that is definitely two of you covered. Um, do I hold on? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we're not going to be eruption windmill striking here, that's for sure. Unless it gets to, like, 30 damage, which I'm hoping it doesn't. Do I play Strike Strike Vault? Strike Strike Miracle Miracle Vault, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, hmm. And hope for the best? Yes. Uh, miracle... Miracle Vault. Does this reset? Oh, <gasps> That doesn't reset! Well, that is amazing, because he's going down. Actually, he was going down anyway, but... Cultist Potion is... Is really good, that's all I'm going to say. Now I have to rest here, and hopefully I'll survive the elite fight. In fact, I'll actually use the cultist potion because it is not as valuable as oh well, it will be valuable on the boss fight, but Oh, it's gonna be two strength, isn't it? Oh no, it's not. What? Oh right, I don't have sacred bark. Whoops. I don't know why I thought it would be two strength. I, I thought I had sacred bark for some reason. So these guys are doing way over 20 damage, so I'm actually going to fully defend here. Plus, I have DSX Machina, so, um, you know, I'm not really worried about miracles. Speaking of which, there it is. Uh, problem is, again, it took up a slot that could have been in defend, which was actually going to be valuable here. At this point, I need to remove eruption. I really don't want to be entangled. This is not a turn I want to play, so I'm just going to pass. Remove the Sender's Bane as well, which is kind of nice. Uh, there is a pressure point. I'm just going to get rid of you. Now, normally I would split it a little bit, but no, not this time around. We have only one, so I'm not splitting it. All right, front one is the next target. If I had Eruption here, that was not going to do anything, so yeah. I really want to use Evaluate. I really do. And I'm going to get to. Actually, what I'm going to do is I will double strike here with the Miracles. Just to get some damage in. Plus, I, I wasn't weakened, so... Now I am, though. Wait a minute. I'm weakened. Oh, right, I have strength. I was like, why are these doing 9? I was, I was very confused. I, I was looking up here and I was like, I don't have strike dummy. What's going on? Uh, but, yeah, because mm, reasons. Uh, alright, so I believe... No, I actually can't take down the Taskmaster. So, I can Eruption, when most Strike, the swing goes away, and I'll be able to play Double Strike, but I won't be able to take down the Taskmaster. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm... Of course, I'm gonna be one short. That's still fine, because Like Water does defend me, but... It's kind of, you know, I just wanted to take care of the entire fight. Uh, so like water is enough so long as I am in calm stance. Four wounds. Mmm, lovely. And uh, this is more than enough because I am not weakened. Okay. Omomori is amazing. Uh, I love a good Omomori. So I actually don't need to rest here yet. Uh, I mean... And I actually want to upgrade this just so it gives me more block. And I'm gonna rest in the next one. 
Front cleat. Amazing. Good. Now we just need anchor and captain's wheel <laughs> to make a full set. You know, just saying. Ah, Sneko. You don't have 1, 2, 3 HP, but sure. I'll, I'll assume you're Sneko. All right. Well, at least I got some of my defense out. It's not much, but when you get three cost defense, yeah, I'm not at the moment, but I will. Trust me, I will. Seven, seven blocks seems like a lot. Yeah, look at that. So I can actually afford this. Nope, not that one, this one. Because I wasn't going to be able to play more than that defend anyway. Uh, oh, a free windmill strike. Well, that's going to stay in my hand for a little bit. Right, fully defended. Let's play the two. Never mind. Uh, don't want to use the miracles because they might be way more valuable here. Ooh, the free vault. Is it worth using it here, though? I don't think so because I can actually relatively well defend here. In fact, I actually didn't need to use the second one there. I don't know what I was thinking. I just, that was like, hmm, I just need to get seven more block. Totally ignoring the fact that I have like water. Uh, we do not have the damage, so passing. Actually, I could vault here. Which might put me in a more favorable position. Or it might not. Well, it does, believe it or not. Oh, that's a three cost. I didn't want to use a three cost, okay? I have not gotten a second pressure point. I am very sad. Extremely sad. There is a Lee's Waffle here. I could start off with a pressure point, though. Uh, that is too expensive, so no. I do want to pick up Lee's Waffle, I'll be honest. Lee's Waffle, even though it will provide a little bit of healing at this point, you will never see it again because we've already seen it, yeah? Uh, it still gives you 7 max HP, and for 158, that's actually not bad. Didn't we have shops from our costly? Yeah, we do. You know what? I'm gonna take it. Uh, this guarantees an upgrade here, which is not that big of a deal, but at this point we're keeping one mill strike, so might as well upgrade it. We've obviously been using it uh, in this uh, really, really weird build. Uh, now I can actually fully defend here, so I will not be using Vault, even though I don't have Vigilance. Uh, next turn is Horncleat, and we're actually fully defended. I had to use Vigilance there because I actually want to activate Life Water, it is going to be very useful. And there is the windmill strike I was speaking of. Problem is this turn was a little bit forfeit. I want to break free, but how badly? I think very badly. Ah, I should have struck. Okay. Oops. Whoopsies. Alright, definitely using these. Not using the strike yet. No point. Uh, there's the pressure point, and there is a strike. Okay, all in all, not bad. I do need AoE at this point. I have no AoE. I need AoE. I have not gotten a second. Uh, I hmm. It has more use as the ancient potion is probably more useful to me. <sighs> at this point, I'm upgrading the SX Machina. Well, the one card that I never upgrade because it's not. It doesn't have a good upgrade. In my opinion. No, the upgrade is good if you have nothing else to upgrade, but if you have something else to upgrade, upgrade to something else. Alright, so basically my plan here uh, is just wait for one more strike, which isn't a good plan at all. So one on the collector and everything else goes into torch heads because I have no AoE. There's like water, good. And... Yeah, I'm gonna need to block here. Could vault. Don't need to because this turn actually isn't that bad for me. Again, I'm just waiting for one more strike to build up. I know I don't have wrath anymore, but this is absolutely fine because this is pre -up this is upgraded now. I don't know why I was gonna say pre-upgraded there. Uh, no, the thing is though, the collector will reduce, uh, will remove, uh, will apply frailty. Whoops. Speaking is a thing though, I, that I sometimes do, but today. I am very focused because we actually got to the second floor. The second boss, in fact. And there is a possibility that he might go down, believe it or not. 
I need to use one more, but that's absolutely fine. I still have these four miracles. Now I'm waiting for a weakness to uh, actually remove itself. I am going to be vaulting. No. I mean, it won't remove my frailty, so there is no point in vaulting here. Oh, I'm very sad. Uh, hmm. Okay, I'm actually good on defense. As you can see, I'm mostly taking care of the torch heads at the moment, and I'm just waiting for one more strike. Uh, basically waiting for my weakness to go away. Problem is, I need to defend this turn. So that is not enough. Ah, I'm very sad. Very, 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 very sad. And very disappointed, okay. Yes, I'm not using the Merkles. You don't need to use one more strike if you don't need to use one more strike. Is what I like to say. Sometimes. Uh, please give me another strike. Or you could give me a vault, which is absolutely fine as well. I just need to remove this one. Thank you. That is... I will take a little bit, but I think it's fine. Yeah, it should be fine. And I'm waiting for next turn to use one more strike. 60 damage, okay. Using the evaluate there for the insight, of course. As long as I have the extra energy, I will be using it. Pressure point is non-negotiable, even though I only have one of them. It's a must-use. That strike there, absolutely worthless. I actually do have a swiftness potion, I've just noticed. Uh, Alright, actually, let's just use that here and now. Maybe a pressure point, if I get a pressure point. No, I did not. I want to use... Actually, I can use it. What am I talking about? I have two miracles. One, two... I actually don't even need to use the, the two miracles, because this is sort of fine in terms of defense. I mean, 2 damage and I have 50 HP, yeah, absolutely fine. Regen potion will eventually help. Master Reality apparently actually useful uh, for the insights. Uh, if I actually have an extra power, I do have an extra power. Uh, sorry, not an extra power, something that uh, generates cards. Uh, actually, Deus Ex Machina, but I would need to draw Master Reality before Deus Ex Machina, that is not a guarantee. So that'll be a no for me. Come on. I, I don't want to pick it up. I'll be honest, I don't. Because I'm actually not entirely sure if Vault will refresh uh, Velvet Choker. But that's not really the big issue here. I already have four energy on boss and late fights. I guess I could pick it up. I mean, six cards is a lot of cards. Yeah, six cards is a lot of cards. I'll pick it up. Plus, we'll see if it refreshes. Hey, good thing I didn't pick up uh, uh, Master Reality because we have an Awakened One fight. Okay, so I see Triple Rest with no Elite and a Late Shop. So, ah, uh, no, it has an Elite. Uh, late and Early Shop, actually. I should be a little bit more precise. Okay, yep, 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 okay, yeah, we're going that way, so we're gonna start off here in the right, and we're gonna go to the left, and then we're gonna go to the right again. Uh, I can block here, so I will, I will not use the Vault yet. Again, has better uses, most of the time. Uh, horn Cleat, right, Horn Cleat is a thing. Oh yeah, the problem is the Miracles and Velvet Trucker are gonna go <laughs> very well together. Very, very well together. And my free AoE. So I'm gonna need to be very careful. I totally forgot about DSX Machina. I guess at this point, removing DSX Machina isn't a bad thing. And the insights as well, let's face it. Alright, so what I'm actually gonna do is let's see if Velvet Choker resets. Yes, it does. Okay, so Vault is amazing. I mean, Vault was always amazing, now it's just double so. Ah, uh, skill potion, no. Oh, yay! Too bad I don't have a rest before the elite fight. Give me another one. Uh, or not. Ah, uh, medical kit, yes. That's a definite pickup for me. Uh, because we have... Not really the Awakened One fight, that doesn't really matter, doesn't add anything into your deck that you need to remove except the Void, but the Void removes itself, so it's fine. Uh, it is mostly because we we could have a Book of Stabbing fight here. I shall turn you down. 
I shall upgrade you. Thank you for the free upgrade, actually. Uh, before the, the elite fight. Our free chest, which is Toy Ornithopter. Thank you. That will help. Okay, we did not have the Book of Stabbing, so that's fine. Uh, actually, he adds burns to your deck anyway. Uh, so, yeah, we're, we're good here. I have so much energy, and I am going to hit Velvet Choker so much. So, so much. So much. I just keep defending. Like, there's not much of a point in using attacks on this turn. Ah, the pressure points. Um, I actually think I want to use this now. It's going to be 5 HP, which is going to put me at 64, and then it'll regenerate slowly. I'll probably end up taking more damage, but that's fine. I mean, I'm already going to take more damage. I did not want to play that. I'm going to take more damage already this turn anyway. There's like, well, are you kidding me? What's with the attacks? Uh, I think I want to vault here. Let's see, do I vault here? Uh, I might have to vault here. No, because best case scenario, I'll get like three defense, maybe. Yeah, I don't vault because if I get pressure points this turn, it's not a good idea. It's better if I get pressure points next turn. If I get them. Got one. Nope, wrong card. Alright, so the regen potion there was a good idea. Hmm, bad turn to get that. But whatever. Okay, this is a good turn. And... And I'm actually looking at Velvet Choker, I'm sorry if I'm like playing cards a little bit slower, I was like, mm, am I gonna get choked here? Uh, Nunchucks plays really well into Velvet Choker as well, so amazing. Uh, doesn't matter, I'll, I'll attempt to actually have nothing to upgrade. Uh, I will attempt to keep track of it a little bit more than what I normally do. Vigilance, definitely gonna use the AoE here and just going straight for the Exploder. Exploder is probably the first thing I want to remove here. Uh, speaking of which, you know what? I'm actually just going to strike it in Vault. I want to use Pressure Point on the back one. Actually, I can. And after this, I can just use one on the Repulsor and then everything else on the back one, so it's absolutely fine. Or I can just one most strike the Repulsor next turn. And just wait for strikes. Strike? Actually, I don't need it. That was a choker. Hmm. And there goes the repulsor. Now I just need one more of those pressure points and we're good to go. I can actually defend for 12. A fear potion is not as valuable. Oh boy. Ah, you showed up. It's like, why didn't you show up over here, or over here? So the Singing Bowl, uh, it's a great relic, but generally when you're towards the end, it's... It's not that good when it's towards the end. I mean, yeah, you'll get a little bit of max HP, but... I mean, let's see. At this point, I actually don't think I want DSX Machina. Uh, <laughs> but I don't want to remove it because I actually upgraded it. So I think I want to remove one more strike. I already picked up an extra pressure point, so we should be fine. I have nothing left to upgrade. Oh, this is so rare that it actually gets to this point, that I have nothing else to... Yes, yes, take all my gold for the mask. Take all my gold for that mask. And I can actually vault now, which I'm definitely going to do. I already applied several pressure points. Oh, beautiful, isn't it? But I can't defend, which is kind of sad. Uh, actually, wait a minute, Horn Cleat, of course. Okay, so Horn Cleat does trigger on that, which I'm surprised. Nunchucks. Nunchucks. Come on, a pressure point. Or not. Hmm. Oh, you're gone. If I've ever seen anything gone, it is you. Okay, let's see. Uh, like water. Vigilance. 
and devaluate. Actually, let me even strike. Just to get rid of the back one there. And you're gone. Alright, a nice clean fight. Uh, I'll take the max HP, thank you. Do I want the speed over the ancient one? It doesn't apply any debuffs, but I actually don't have any more fights. What am I talking about? Yes, take the speed potion. And there's nothing to upgrade. Uh, I don't have Dreamcatcher, so I guess I'll take the key. Wow. Last couple of rests, nothing to do. Huh. Right, so... Cultists are the main priority here. For now. And I'm actually not going to play... Any powers here yet. I'll hold up. Uh, until I actually... Uh, Awaken the Awakened One. I have my reasons for that. Most of my reasons revolve around I don't want to give him extra strength, which he already has. Uh, now, everything else goes on the Awakened One because they already have one tech, so we're fine. Actually, could have removed Consecrate instead of a Strike. Yeah, but it's actually better than a Strike. But it hits Velvet Choker a little bit harder. Uh, because it's zero cost, mostly. Alright, I just want you both to be gone next time I actually hit a pressure point. That's why I hit this one and I'm choosing to take the damage, which is probably a bad idea. Okay. You know what? At this point, you're gone. Uh, Velvet Choker is fine. I do want to use like water, but that's going to be a huge mistake, so no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Uh, one, two cards. Four cards. I am not fully defended because I don't have like water. That is just... Mm. That hurts me. That hurts me. Uh, the problem is I'm already taking a lot of damage and I was hoping to save these for uh, uh, the second phase because the second phase is a little bit more deadly in terms of the opener. Okay, that's third card. Four, five, six. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. And I will have to build up pressure points again. Let's not forget about that. Okay, uh, I have to use this. Didn't want to, but I can't defend. If I use like water here, it's one extra strength, which is kind of horrible. Mm, can't believe I didn't draw a single defensive card. That puts me so far behind. It just it just puts me so far behind. Okay, all right, he, he's gone, and I do hope, okay, I have like water, I have an insight, and a defend, so there is that for next turn, so I'm hoping, okay, so like water has to be played, um, definitely gonna insight, okay, two defense, use this, just straight up use it, no point in holding off, because this is a very important turn, now the awakened one does have what one could say worse attacks that can happen, but I need to survive. And this barely keeps me alive. Uh, and I need to build up pressure points very quickly. Like extremely quickly. So that's a full defend. And I'm waiting for one more strike to do. I don't know what. Uh, it's, it's just there. I'm gonna use it sooner or later. Um, hmm. I have to build pressure points. Have to play the defend, but I don't think no, I don't think I can get this much block, no. That's 27, that is 36 damage. I I will act I'm actually alive. Believe it or not, I am actually alive. Uh if I use two miracles to play to play one most strike, I won't be able to because of Velvet Choker. So I'll just use this and pass. That's because Void was there, otherwise I would have been good. I don't think I'm gonna be alive after this one. Uh no, I'm not. No, and I, I can't do do 258 damage. Not this turn. Well, I tried. Yeah, no. No, just no. I, I knew I wasn't going to be able to do that much damage. I mean, that's the best I could have done. That's almost 200. Oh well. I've been the Rampant Mystic. I do hope you enjoyed this episode of Slay the Spire, and I do hope to see you all in the next one.